it anymore. I'm leaving. You would think January 6th would have been that moment, maybe, but it's not. So the question is, what is it going to be? Because they keep going back and feeding the beast for themselves. They can't stop taking the abuse. House Republicans gathered for their first conference meeting since leaked audio tapes revealed Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy thought Donald Trump should resign after January 6th. That was good. McCarthy told members he was only discussing scenarios about Trump. The audio tells a different story, but here's one. Uh, here's how one Republican member tried to reconcile that for him. Did you listen to the McCarthy audio that was released? Sure I did. And what was your response as an American? My response there was that, that it was edited. You see, I know the art of editing. So I, I don't, I don't, I'm that. not sure. I'm not sure in what context. My God. <laughs> My um, God. Mark, and Mark I, I know her. She knows I, so much I, better. I, I, Mark, Mark, I, I pass this one to you, my friend. It was edited. I mean, this is, again, this is the same dear Kevin who people heard screaming to Trump. This is the same dear Kevin that bragged about screaming to Trump. This is the same dear Kevin caught on tape saying that Donald Trump was paid off by Vladimir Putin, swear to God. Like, these people know that of they're lying. Of course they know. No, they, they all and they know. know that, and, 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 they, and they know that we know that they're they lying. Do. They know that they're, uh, they're, their rank and file know that they're lying, and yet they just keep lying. It, it is, look, I mean, we, we can tell people this till we're blue in the face. I mean, what Kevin McCarthy is saying to his members and what he's saying to, you know, people that he's, you know, uh, eating dinner with in Washington is 180 degrees different than what he is saying when he is in Jim Banks's district in Indiana or when he's home in Bakersfield or wherever he is. I mean, there is, and, and look, Republicans will say, and people will say like, look, voters aren't talking about this. And it's true, they might not literally be talking about what Kevin McCarthy was like busted for saying in a leaked video or leaked audio in an upcoming book. They might not be literally talking about that. But the idea that voters are so routinely and so casually lied to yeah. by a group yeah. of people and then go back and are essentially laughing about it is, um, I think, you know, offensive to a lot of voters if they you know, understand the contours of what's being done to them and the way they're being patronized. It's also offensive to our democracy to denigrate the truth. Corrosive. I mean, I, mm -hmm. it's very corrosive. I mean, yesterday, all day, we talked about a freedom fighter, a fighter from democracy, someone who knows how damaging this type of behavior is. So I don't know what points um, Congresswoman Maria Salazar was getting in that moment totally manipulating the truth and she went on and on actually saying you know gosh january 6th was bad but God, why are we still talking about it this is your problem because you want to keep making headlines no the question is do we ever want to see january 6th happen again and if there is no accountability don't you want to see accountability for january 6th an assault on our capital where Vice President Mike Pence's life was threatened. Nancy Pelosi's life was threatened. The place was ransacked. Don't you, uh, Congresswoman Salazar? I mean, the, the, the question answers itself, and yet they flick it off because they, they want to make Trump happy. It's whataboutism. You know, it's the same. I mean, this, is all, this feels like it's all the same fight. It's like, it's whataboutism, which, yeah. which is what Russia, which was what Russia does. It's, it's, that, is their, that is their play, the, the fight in Ukraine, the how the Republicans are buying, are, are casually lying, and everyone accepts it and expects it to happen, um, and how that's hurting Democrats when they don't stand up to fight back, both in terms of pushing back on the culture war, but also these fights take hold mm -hmm. when you're not making progress. Um, you know, that's when Democrats get into it. When you're not making progress on behalf of, of like working people, that is when the culture war stuff takes so